Hello everybody, today we are playing a little Minecraft mod pack. Which mod pack, you may ask? Well, of course, it is Sky Fabrication. And in this said mod pack, we spent a whopping 40 hours slowly descending into madness. So I hope you enjoy the show and subscribe if you do. So to kick things off, we had to choose our island dive, which we went with bamboo for some ungodly reason. And then we had to choose our origins, which didn't matter because we just ended up choosing human eventually anyway. I got nine mm. maps, dude. Yo, look at this one. Check this one out. Yeah, I think this one looks kind of cool. Yeah, I think this, look this at one this is one. zero. You gave me zero maps, bro. All my maps. No, my maps. I'll, I'll get them. Okay, never mind. Recipe word just G. I don't want to read that. Oh, I don't want to read that either. And after being forced to still read through everything, we started twerking on the bamboo until it grew to a big, beautiful bamboo. Yes. After twerking on the bamboo for a while, it made itself clear that it was going to take a very long time to get anywhere, so we needed to amp up our bamboo production. To do this, we needed more dirt. To have more dirt, we needed to craft a barrel using stripped bamboo. And so we did that. First dirt, first dirt, first dirt. Oh my god, it's composting? Dude, dude, dude. Dude, you're trolling by AFK. Dude, you're trolling. Please, you gotta understand. This is monumental. After making the first couple of dirts, our island started to expand rapidly. But there was one thing standing between us and progression. And that was string. What the fuck is that spider? Why you look like that? Hey, why you look like that? Look oh! Oh my god, guys, we just gotta, we just gotta, we just gotta... <laughs> what the fuck happened? Guys, I'm so excited that I just slaughterized my own goblin friend. Oh my <laughs> god. Fucking... Fuck! You, you guy. Shout out to the server backup. <laughs> Shout out to the server backup crew. You know, they're really backing up our servers. You know. After defeating enough spiders, we finally managed to make a mesh. And so, we started the long process of seeding. I made a little crucible for some water, which would lead to making a cobblestone generator down the line. But for now, we just had to keep seeding. Eventually, the game rewarded us with an oak sapling, and with this newfound power, I grinded wood, dirt, and string until I finally had enough resources to create the ultimate resource, the generator of everything, lava. Now that I had got my hands on a cobblestone generator, all I had to do was grind up some cobblestone, turn it into gravel, and sieve it. From there on, I'd get a bunch of iron, and I would use it to make cobblestone automatically, so I could get even more iron and other resources. So, naturally, I immediately automated gravel production. To do so, all I needed was a block placer with infinite cobble, and a block breaker with a bunch of hammers. However, I needed to set up a redstone timer to keep activating the devices. And so, that's what I did. So now that I have infinite cobblestone and I'm waiting for my infinite gravel, I decided to go to the nether. I don't know why though, so I just kind of left. And while I was doing nothing in the nether, Mr. Jonathan here found a little exploit. It turns out, if you take two raw iron chunks, and press K on them to compress them into a big iron chunk, you can get 9 iron chunks back, and then keep repeating the process infinitely, and get infinite iron. We of course decided to not do this, cause then it would make the pack way too easy and pointless pretty much. Come Granosalus, what? To progress, we need to make an alloy forge. The only thing is, an alloy forge needs a bunch of prismarine, which we don't have. So. I decided to make an automatic prismarine farm, albeit it's very very slow because it mostly makes coral and not prismarine. Oh my god. Hey diamond, finally, wow, shit. The fucking 0.8% chance finally got it. If you're so truthful, uh, you say the truth. You speak in words and letters and uh, you are the good, the good kush, I guess. You are the good kush. Wow, what a, what a <laughs> title, oh wow, I'm on the that's, that's a big ass compliment, I see. Yeah, what the hell, dude? Oh, diamonds. The bitch ass compliment, <laughs> just like with Wolf Talisman, I'm gonna fucking slaughter your ass. 
The coral farm was taking way too long to produce enough prismarine for the alloy forge, so I decided to speed up the process by waterlogging some sieves and sieving some gravel until I got enough to make the alloy forge. Alright, yeah, basically, I'm putting the water out of the sieves, and I'm, I'm, I'm taking it and putting it out of the sieves. <laughs> It's, pre it's pretty crazy, I know. Uh, doing the Perry Platypus stuff, you know how it be, my boy. Oh, I mean, sorry. Go, Now that we have an alloy forge, we can start making andesite alloy and progress them to create. Let's go! Yay, quest complete! And now we have shafts and cogs and, and everything above. Random reward, baby! I got something. Ooh, another random reward. Oh, back, 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 Now that we've unlocked Create, Mr. Sir Jonathan created a little automatic siever. However, it is a stupid siever because whenever you put a hopper on the bottom of it, it takes out the thing it's meant to sieve before it ever sieves it. And so you can't even have automatic output. This is simply unacceptable. However, we had to bear with it because it, it would take quite a while for us to properly automatically output only the things that we want and have full automatic sieves. And to mitigate this issue, I first had to get some sea pickles for lime dye so that I could make super glue, which I also needed to make a mechanical press and press some iron into iron plates. And then I used those iron plates with the lime dye and dough to make slime balls and super glue. Then I made sail for a windmill and I built a little windmill and oh boy how great this windmill is. I turned it on and now we have spinny power. <laughs> However, the windmill is just way too slow on its own, so I built a little gear shifting thing until I got the right ratios to make a mixer spin fast enough so I could make stuff. I also made a simple encased fan setup with some water so I could wash some stuff. And then to celebrate my achievements, I did a really cool parkour sick ass jump. Check this. Ooh, infinite gravel. Uh, yes, please. I must have been a little bit confused on how to proceed here because I spent like 30 minutes just running around and looking at the recipes. Through the confusion, I did, however, make a little granite slash andesite and diorite maker. Now we needed brass. And to get brass, we needed blazes. And to get blazes, well, <laughs> I had to go to the one area in the whole entire world that had blazes. The nether. Oh boy, what fun adventures we shall have in the nether, yes. On the way to the blazes, I found a pleasant little surprise. A floating ship with a boatload of wither skeletons. And oh boy, did they have lovely loot down in their ship. I plundered all of their loot and got out of there. <laughs> no! Unbeknownst to poor little old me, this death would soon become a god-awful death loop that lasted a whole half an hour, a whole 30 minutes of me just going into the nether with more blocks and more tools and just dying over and over and over again because there were just too many blazes to block all the shots or do anything really. And after many, many deaths, I finally managed to run in, get a blaze burner, and safely escape the treacherous and awful deepest depths of the nether. And of course, as I was leaving, I realized that I could have just used a fire resistance potion the entire time, completely negating every single blaze that could have possibly ever shot. And now with blaze burners in hand, we can finally have it. Blah. This now unlocks pretty much the entirety of the create mod. Now it was finally time to upgrade our smeltery and make a proper big seared smeltery. Ultimately what I wanted from the smeltery was to make a bucket of blood so that I could make infinite netherrack for sieving. However, once I got my bucket of blood, 
and mixed it with witch water, it didn't actually produce any blocks. I was rightfully upset, however, I moved on and started working on a material that we crucially needed to progress through the create mod, shroom light dust. Now, to get shroom light dust, you needed shroom lights, and to get shroom lights, you needed to get like warped fungus. So now I had to figure out how to do that. After scouring the recipe book, I found out that you can just hunt normal mushrooms and you'll get the mushroom varieties that I need. However, they need a special type of netherrack to grow on. But that was pretty easy to get apparently. All you needed to do was sieve some dirt on a gold mesh and you would just get spores, put them on some netherrack and you get the special netherrack. And now we have shroom lights. And now that we have electron tubes, the fun begins. Now I can finally properly sort out all of the byproducts and all of the nonsense garbage from sieving, and I can make a fully automated siever. Where, where did our, all of our redstone go? Like, I could <laughs> stop. Oh, I wonder. I wonder where all our redstone went. Oh, that's such a good question that you have given me. Man, yeah, I, can... I just don't know. What a mystery. It will never be solved. I then spent the next few minutes gathering up some grout, smelting it down, and turning into seared bricks to upgrade our fine little smelter. What the fuck is that? Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> We're on <Yeah>. diamonds! <laughs> Get this shit out of my hand. Yeah. One diamond to nine eggs so compressed. Cool. Uh oh, cheat alert! Black. Let me get my that one <laughs> diamond back. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> Excuse me. No, that was like the... funny. Fuck, how much is that? It's like 9 to the power of 5. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> like thousands of diamonds just in one. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly balanced, honestly. Yeah. So now that we had all the necessary resources, I could make a little bit of an automatic sieve. So I chose to do cobblestone generator that generated like andesite, granite, and diorite, and cobblestone, of course. Had it all milled down, get it sieved, and put it into a little box. And obviously, it worked perfectly, and I didn't have to rebuild the whole design immediately and make it better. So that's what I did, and Jonathan gave me a brilliant idea of just using drawers to separate the granite, diorite, andesite, and cobblestone. However, only after building the entire machine pretty much, I realized that the drawer access point just doesn't accept any items. I tried putting shoots and then having all the things going, I tried putting a little wooden hopper in there, it, they just they refuse to put in. I don't know why. Maybe I did something stupid, uh, but it didn't work. Uh, so I had to build the machine again. So after gathering up all of my brain power, I tried to make this machine again, a third version, better than all the rest. And then, of course, after I built it, it sort of worked again, but I didn't like it. <laughs> it didn't work the way I wanted it to work. So, of course, with a heavy heart, I had to rebuild it again. Mr. Diable, El Furonco, Doris, Somalia. Give me PTSD from the fucking Spanish Inquisition. You are a stupid bad boy Halo fan. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm gonna oh, hit my vape right now. So, be, be, be scared. Oh, I can't believe this is still overstressed. How's that not a full fucking windmill? Google. Make this guy, his balls are green. Oh <laughs> no! Fucking petrified if my balls were green. Like, holy shit. Go to the doctor. Oh now. yeah, classic case of green balls. <laughs> so super rare, super duper rare, ultra rare, mega rare syndrome. Where your balls suddenly turn green. Shit's crazy. It's a pretty cool cosmetic though, so like, I think <laughs> you should keep it. But I'm, but I'm you the fire. Boss. But I'm the boss. You fire. Okay, I fire a gun sometimes, yes, but like, you're stupid. Yes, yes, yes. That's you fire. Right. You bad. Boy, hell of a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is like, this is like kind of a little bit funny, uh, but like, I fucking, I hope you die, die in the, the fire. Womp, womp, womp. Oh my god, I'm gonna... <laughs>
claim the quest in one, two, three. Oh, oh like... uh, we got hamburger. It's not making rock carpet at all, bro. I mean, after standing around for a while, I'm doing literally nothing because I was absolutely brain dead. I decided to make a little dust farm so we could get a bunch of redstone and I think copper maybe. Uh, but which again didn't turn out very good. Man, I was just full of bad designs today, huh? Chuba, 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 chuba. Seashell on the seashore, but the seashell, seashell on the shore. Due to the shore on the supply <laughs> and the shore, seashells is better than anyone can. So yeah, as it turns out, sacrificing sleep to play Minecraft really doesn't work, because I just can't think straight at all, clearly. <laughs> Hey, look, a funny little sand generation and receive thing tower. Ooh, isn't it silly? Yo, why the fuck the windmill acting so quirky? Uh, uh, fuck. Uh, this should be a singer. Thanks, you, you three. We should all start a band. Separate ones, though. No, I don't want to be in the same band as you. <laughs> Oh my lord, the lord is that, is that what I think it is? It's a big old craft, it's a, it's a big, it was a big crafting thing. It's, what is it called? Mechanical crafting. <laughs> Basically, it definitely didn't overstress the whole system, and that's why I made a big ass sail to power it. For it to very, very slowly build us a crushing wheel. And now once we had crushing wheels, I could make sand much faster and get all the copper in the world. But before doing that, I decided to make a very simple little gravel generator that would just sieve all the gravel and get me a bunch of random racehorses. And uh, there it is. I built it and it shoots the stuff to where it needs to be and it's beautiful. And then I decided to build a little crushing wheel setup to crush something. I'm not sure why I built it over the, the mechanical crafters. I think that was all stupid, but I did it and it crushes tough into resources that are useful. And then I cleaned up the base. Yeah. Wow, I cleaned up so much. And now there's like way more space here. That's so cool. Let <laughs> me just make a tree farm right here. <laughs> Stuff on. Oh my god. <laughs> that would be really funny. I'm gonna do it anyway. even more funny if you just didn't ask. Just like... Well, I'm... You know what's okay. more funny is that I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the jungle, the oh, lion. What the fuck is... What is this? That's right, it was time to build a tree farm. So I built a little platform, built a little railroad, and it didn't work, basically. It was really goofy. The minecart just doesn't turn and sometimes falls off the tracks as well. <laughs> Perfectly balanced. So, I decided to try out gantries instead. But then, after kind of setting it up a little bit, I realized that it would need rotational power, and I just couldn't be bothered to do that, so I thought I'll just figure out how to do the minecarts, but better. Hey! 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 And there you go, it was complete, the very first design of the tree thing, and it worked, sort of. And definitely wasn't an absolute hazard to anybody nearby. No, 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 of course not. <laughs> Did the minecart dislocate itself from the actual <laughs> texture of the thing? That looks really funny. That's even more scary, it's invisible now. Crook, you're a crook, and you're crooked, and you, you broke your spine when you were seven. No, no, fuck, you dropped all my goodies off to the fucking heavens down below. At some point, Mr. Sir Jonathan, unbeknownst to me, made a bunch of diamond meshes. And with that, we can apparently sieve sand real good and get a boatload of copper, basically. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I did. Set up a little simple sieve,r and I got infinite copper. Oh, okay. Is this making wood? Oh, yeah, it is. How dire! You're going to my belly tuna, baby. That's <laughs> <done> weird. <laughs> okay, what the frick? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. oh, man. Really just referenced in a Bobo Man video. What the fuck? <laughs> nah, that's fuck. I will, I'm never gonna post anything ever again. <laughs> <laughs> my, day, my days are, are over. My days of how? Why are we making so much iron? What the fuck going on? Did you like replace oh, yeah. something with a diamond mesh? I replaced everything with a diamond mesh. That's really cool. You're so good at the game. 
cha 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 boom 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 yo hey 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 get sprints with fuck he gets knocked away too far from me holy shit Fuck, how did he hit me? He just got a raid for that one microsecond. And now it was time to upgrade the little tree farm by adding a little sugarcane offshoot and a kelp offshoot as well, basically. And it was super, super simple, very easy <laughs> and super simple and sleek, fashionable design. It was basically just made a little box with water in it. So the trapdoors are kind of cool. I didn't have to click on each one separately. They all just did it perfectly. I left the middle open so that the harvesters would go through it and collect all the kelp. And uh, yeah, I'm going some kelp down and then it was, it was good to go. I think it's time to unleash the beast that is has been within me this whole time. Okay. Just never shared it. <laughs> the beast okay, the whole steal world. my thunder, why don't you? But yes. <laughs> the beast is within us all. Mr. Beast. What's going on? What's, what's, what's wrong with your pussy? Holy shit, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Me saying what's wrong with your pussy, that's kind of cool. So the bigger it is, the like, more annoying its turn radius is. Whoa, whoa, it's, it's wild then. Basically, after building the whole thing and making it longer, it just stopped working because the turn radius is now bigger and so it turns slower. So I had to break everything. Rebuild it in a big square this time and rebuild the kelp farm, rebuild the, the sugarcane farm on the inside of the square. And it all just works, you know, it just plants trees, gets sugarcane, gets kelp, all the things we need. And it's super busting and cute and cool. Oh, how do we have so much iron, dude? I mean, I am gonna have to redo my like, entire create system. That sounds fun. And now, a tutorial by John the Goblin. You see, what I thought of. Right, we have a sink that puts in water into this tank. You see, this tank can have water buckets in it, right? Mm. Oh, I have two water buckets here. Like at the start, there was two, so they get filled up. They go into the furnace. They get cooked. Team, as of this amazing tank that has an inventory that can hold buckets, that holds the buckets, puts the steam in, and then round robins. Back to this chest and put Fuck the cube. Yeah! Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Stuffed potato. Step one invalid. That's awesome. Hey guys, this is my pack. I love it. Today we're gonna be making a stuffed potato recipe. So, first, what you're gonna wanna do is. And then, once you're done with that, we chop up some carrots, we add them in, and then, uh, the last, last little step, we pour some milk on it. You know, really top it all off. It does taste a little bit like, but hey, you know, it's an acquired taste. You'll get yeah. used to it. <laughs> hey, stop making fun of my voice. It's not even that bad, man. Why? Stop making fun of me. You're so mean, dude. I'm not yeah, even stupid that. Ass motherfucker. I'm not even mm -hmm. that quirked up at the moment. Well, become. When my quirked up white father hears of this. <laughs> You have a, a right to weapon coming straight to your door. Look at your quirked up white boy uh, ass. Uh, 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 uh. Whilst building the tree and sugar cane and kelp farms, we ended up saving up enough copper to just build a whole ass boiler. And that's what I did. I tried to make it really, really scuffed and really small at first and tried to hand crank like the water into there. That didn't work. So I put on a whole ass windmill to try and get some water into there. It still sort of didn't work. I, I had to get it even faster. I quickly realized that it was just not going to be enough having one tiny measly little steam boiler. Or one little steam engine. So I set off on a journey to go get all the required necessary resources to build a much bigger and more beautiful steam engine. And also a bunch of stuff just started growing on the, the little platform I made. Apparently building out of netherward blocks was just not a good idea. I mean, all, all I wanted was a pop of color in my world. And then I decided to build a little extra platform and not out of the netherward blocks this time because I've learned my lesson and I won't do that again. 
And I uh, upgraded a little smelter here, and it took me a little while to get all the bricks and whatnot. I really just couldn't handle a lot before, but now I can shove whole stacks of iron into there. And then I built a little dirt farm, which saved a bunch of dirt, so we could get weird warped fungus and stuff, so I could automate shroom lights, even though I never did that. <laughs> Sorry, spoilers! <laughs> And now it was time to venture forth into the nether to get all the blaze burners that I needed. And don't worry, this time I came prepared with a little fire resistance potion. <laughs> and yeah, that made it a lot easier and I didn't have to die like 30 times. <laughs> Who would have thunk? <laughs> fire resistance make you immune to fire and blazes. What a surprise. When I go through portal, burning portal, but when I turn into good portal, now that I've sufficiently risked my life for all the blaze burners, all I needed to do was smelt down some copper and turn it on to fluid tanks. Build up a little bit of a blaze burner setup. So basically the plan was to just put a bunch of cobblestone and some crucibles, have them turn into lava, and pump it infinitely into the, the blaze burners. And that's exactly what it is. Simple little setup. And once I've built all the tanks and set up all the steam engines, and of course pumped a little bit of water into there, a little, a little sprinkle of water on top. And now that we have so many SUs, we can finally completely max out all the great things and do whatever the frick we want without any limitations, pretty much. And if there ever are any limitations, just build another steam boiler. Easy peasy. Okay. Hi. Oh, what I got what an iron ingot, a raw and flesh, an iron axe, and a bow. Wow. Uh, then it was time to set up a little precision mechanism maker. And I, I just slammed down a couple little fingers to, to, to poke at the at the belt and whatnot. Made the whole belt and, and, and there you have it. Put on a gold plate to test it out. And bada bing bada bam. It's done. And then I turned the whole thing into overdrive and made a bunch of precision mechanisms. And look how utterly satisfying it is. Oh, what is this donut? Donut. Is a donut. Do you want to eat it? How much will you pay for it? Yum, 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 yum. Dude, why are you taking my donut? What the give money? Eat at your donut. What the fuck, dude? Get that flippity out of my store. I am going to sue you. Oh my god, another donut. Oh my god, another donut. Nope, is that feck off, man. No donut for you. You get the fuck out of my story. And now that we've got all the necessary resources and infinite SUs, I can make a little thing again. But better this time. Basically, the problem with my blast generator was that I was, you know, putting granite and a site and cobblestone into the same thing, and it overfilled with only cobblestone and only ever received cobblestone. So the plan here was to just separate all the resources out and just have them go into their respective sieves. Now I did have a little bit of a snag with the with the lava and witch water not actually making the different types of uh, rocks that I needed, and I, I was kind of getting very upset. No, okay, uh... well now it works! That's awesome how I did the same thing before, but it didn't work that time. When the cold war starts and I have to kill my fridge. What? Okay, so I've built the whole little generation of, of the resources thing, now I have to actually refine those resources and turn them into like ingots and stuff that are useful. I also accidentally threw out all the products and stuff, so, oops, oopsie poopsie. Also, the, oh, the system's overstressed, yippee, so I had to build a whole ass another steam boiler. Before I did that, I decided to clean up the place and just get rid of all, all the whole old system. I just, it was just not doing very much, it was getting clogged up and it was lagging the game out. So I removed it, it's, it's as simple as that. Then I got right back to work on the ingot former i suppose and then uh, yeah it actually did pretty good we got loads of resources after only like a few minutes of it being on what the, <laughs> what the fuck dude you know what i mean what the hell is that and now it was time to rebuild the resource generator one last time However, this time, instead of having various resources being sieved, I would pretty much solely just have gravel, uh, at least in this one. And also, I'd upgrade it from millstones into actual crushing wheels. I could crush stuff faster. 
I made a beautiful little cobblestone generator flower. So basically the dirt from the dirt farm was overflowing and was getting laggy. So I dropped it into the void. And yeah, so once I turned on the, the gravel factory, it was immediately producing way more than I was expecting and or was prepared for. So I had to pretty quickly rebuild it again. One, one last time, this time for sure. But before I could do that, Mr. Sir Jonathan had something to show me. See this, you gotta see this, you gotta see this. This is for the video, this is for the video. Come, 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 come. Okay. Come, 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 come. shit, hold on. Yeah, okay. That's fine, I hope. Was something supposed to happen? Is something happening? Wow! It's so cool, dude! Holy Wait. shit, how'd you do that? It still looks insane, dude. What the hell, bro? Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? I was doing it! Oh my oh. god, finally! Yes! Hey, yo! Oh, spectrum, like spectrum of light, I get it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's a little bit of gravel. Is it already clogged up? Kinda of hard to oh work with create when everything is max speed in a way. <laughs> you do something, everything yeah. instantly gets done. Everything's on the ground the moment you put a funnel onto anything. Yeah, so the whole system was basically actually way too efficient <laughs> and generating way too many resources for one measly little basin pounder thing to handle. So I set up a whole system of tunnels to sort everything out and it seemed like it was, there was a weird like overflow problem in in the basins but like that just that actually it just wasn't a problem and it just worked i think it just sorted everything out or all did it in time and i went down below got smelted into ingots and we just had infinite ingots of all kinds which i promptly hooked up to the storage system and sent all those beautiful resources into that what uh, 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 I'm uh, perplexed. What happened? Oh, how did I never know? But is that just a normal thing now? And every how did I not notice that? Holy what? shit! You can make electron tubes so much more easily. Holy shit! You just put in some rose quartz. You put in redstone torches and iron nuggets, and cut them, and you get four electron tubes. We'll just make them. I I will. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, considering I don't have to farm stupid trees for them and, and then I get four. I wish I really wish I knew about that earlier. Pipi un kaki un pipi kakaland. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> of course all that automation was good and all, but uh, it was still only sieving gravel pretty much. And we needed plenty of other resources, such as redstone and lapis and nether quartz. So I set up a little miller here that ran a little automatic sieve that would sieve sand and silt, I believe, for lapis and for redstone. And I also made a little simple little soul sand sieve, which is just another sand thing. But just I, I I put I put blue flame on the on the sand and it turns into soul sand. I saved the soul sand. We got infinite nether quartz. Let's go. And once again, everything was just too efficient and we made way too many resources way too quickly that put on a little void upgrade on every drawer and then i was pretty much done with create so i started going into the realm of the spectrum mod because we needed a very important item from it so we could go into another dimension and get nicolite dust to start things off, I simply had to sift some prismarine into topaz, but before I could do that, I had to help Sir Jonathan with his deep mob learning stuff. Bro. Oh my god! Oh my god, bro! Holy shit, bro! Oh my goodness! How was I supposed to know that this is gonna... Holy shit, uh, went with diamond armor, for real, for real. How the fuck? I thought they were just gonna spawn some mobs, bro. Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm just gonna There's an invisible spider on you, dude. I'm just, I'm just gonna craft. I'm just gonna craft. Dude, there's, there's an invisible spider on you, dude. He's attacking you. What the fuck? Here, dude. I'm scared. I'm gonna shit my pants. I'm, 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 I Why I'm does he have one? infinite speed? I just don't understand. <laughs> Easy. He's oh, easy. Combo he's them a bit. <laughs> Killing him. Okay. Okay, awesome. Oh, you got a you got a key back. Wow. Good. There's another trial key. I don't know. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Really? Just just like fuck. I dropped my sword. I dropped my sword. 
And after that small detour, we went back straight, straight back into Spectrum, basically. Powdered some topaz, slammed it into the workbench. Then I proceeded to get distracted and start just making a bunch of ice by putting Brian over a crucible and putting water into it. Why did I do that? To make a basalt generator, of course. We needed that, maybe, for something. I don't know. <laughs> I pretty much just crafted up a few items from the Spectrum mod because, well, I needed to craft them to progress through the mod for some reason. I, I just, I didn't really use, I just put them in a chest. They were pretty much useless to me. And, uh, yeah, the next step in the progression in the Spectrum mod was apparently to get some citrine. However, the only way to get citrine seemed to be from sieving endstone. And that was a problem, because the only way to get endstone from all the recipes that I looked at was to go through Botania, make a mana lens, and, and use it on a crucible of lava. And so that's why I started work on Botania, by first collecting some beautiful little flowers. And then I used the sheer power of those flowers to make a little pure daisy and make a bunch of living rocks and make a mana pool and whatnot. Sort of a very simple thing that drops one fuel at a time, so I could plant a bunch of endo flames, as I always do, because it's just the best power source. I made a little mana lens for that little end stone, got myself the end stone, and then of course I placed on a shitload of end flowers. Well, not a shitload yet, but soon my army will grow. And I made a little chemical alchemy catalyst. Uh, so I could make a chorus flower, so I could grow chorus trees, so I could make more endstone, apparently. Chicken uh, nugget! What? What? <laughs> what? Yeah, Just nugget. a whole ass chicken nugget? What the, the goddamn fuck? Chicken no, 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 I'm not gonna eat that either. Oh, no. Yeah, so I finally crafted up a little chorus fruit, smelled it down, and got ourselves a little chorus flower by putting it into the mana pool. And then, just, just, I, I just planted it, and it was time to wait for infinite quarters, yes. Then I realized I could duplicate endstone super easily, but with just some hellish matter, and a bit of endstone and ender pearls, which, all of those things we had, so I don't know why I wasn't doing that before. And I just grinded up some endstone, sifted it, and then we got our citrine, finally. The thing I was, I was trying to make this whole time. I realized that I wanted to make shulker shells at some point so we could get an end data model for the deep mob learning so we could get ender pearls but apparently we didn't need that apparently just the overworld ones made ender pearls so like that was kind of a waste of time <laughs> but at least we could turn the course fruit into end stone even though it was not a lot of end stone it only turned into you need a lot of chorus to make one end stone so it was much more efficient to just duplicate it. Oh my god, it's gonna be so nice when we have AE. I'm fucking <laughs> busting every nut that I have in my goddamn system, bro. Reveal a hint for 8 copper? <laughs> What's up yeah, with these microtransactions? You see? see? <laughs> <laughs> what microtransactions in this shit? It's so stupid. <laughs> That's really funny. And after getting scammed by this beautiful Spectrum mod, I ended up upgrading the, the little crafting pedestal thingy with some magic and, and colors and crystals and whatnot. Then I just kind of hit a, a dead end. I hit a whole ass wall because we needed some obscure resource that we could only get from the Extractinator, I'm pretty sure. And the Extractinator, oh boy. Look at it. It's it's awful to build. It's awful. And but but that's what that's what I started doing. Cause I had nothing better to do at the moment since everything else was also super expensive. Like yeah, like even even this weird flower from Croptopia needed like superconductor hot ingots and cryofluids. Like I don't know what that is, and that's super expensive. But yeah, before I could get into any of that goofy shit, uh, I had to rebuild the little coke oven. Slam some coal dust into there, I guess some coke. And so we could craft a boatload of steel, which we apparently needed for like everything. So basically, we were having a very increasingly troubling issue, which was lag. That's right, our base started dropping FPS whenever we were in it. But, I had the brightest idea that for some reason I never had before, which was 
to build a wall that's it basically the idea was that if we had a whole ass wall the game wouldn't have to render as many textures and we wouldn't be as laggy and it kind of worked i think maybe hopefully you got it it helped so much oh my actually oh yeah <laughs> yeah <what? laughs> let's fucking go finally we figured out how to make shit not lag uh, uh, finally, so fucking... lagginess. That's the, the, the wall that fucking separates the old age and the new age. Basically, yeah. what happened in the dream. So, I'm, I'm using a, a mixer, right, to, to make the uncooked steel dust, so I could cook it yeah. later. And it's, yeah. it's like, whenever I don't look at it, it straight up disappears. Where did, um, where did it go? Wait, it just made uncooked steel dust, but it disappeared again. What the fuck? There's no item pipes connected to it either, is the thing. My steel, bro, my steel! Shit's expensive, bro! And even though we were making some amount of steel, we still needed aluminum for the extracting here. However, to get that was a long and arduous process of lots and lots of microcrafting. And I mean, like, a lot of microcrafting. I had to make polarizers and shit as well along the way. Make all kinds of plates of every type of resource it was ridiculous but eventually after much perseverance we finally made the ebf of course it still needed a bunch of stuff to like build it as it was a multi-block but i left that for jonathan and i instead focused my efforts on making a steam boiler so that we could have enough steam to power every single one of our little machines of course a large steam boiler would naturally need a far more bronze than a small steam boiler and it took a while but eventually we got enough bronze microcrafted everything and made a little steam boiler for ourselves well a big steam boiler actually uh, working still why is this not working still <laughs> what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck no, wait, 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 is this like hold on if, don't worry about it just... wait, wait it's like not working oh so easy I just have everything it's almost as if i was making it and then forgot about it all we do is this and you're literally trolling like like you know and the the steam seems yeah. to be going up so fast that we cannot keep up with it or something. <laughs> We're like making it so much faster. <laughs> Let's go! Like, yeah! like the fish over here. Hey, what the fuck, bro? How you want to get back into the water? It's <laughs> drowning! No! Taste it. Oh my goodness. We can make steel ingots. Yes, it is a fucking. That's the, the whole uh, purpose why we made this and aluminum. Yes, aluminum. Yes, aluminum. Yes. Is it making it? Making it. Yes. Yes. The final ingredient. Yes. Yes. Oh, extractinator. Let's go. It's been so long. Oh my god, guys, we finally got the extractinator. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it off a cliff. <laughs> extractinator, put this in. <gasps> Nicolite! Oh my god, bro, we're getting Nicolite! Let's go, bro, it's been so long since we started the journey to make Nicolite, bro, let's go! Hi. Oh my god! <laughs> it's amazing, we got the. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool! I like that we got the. Uh, I mean, we kind of do just need four for the elementalius, but guess what? You need four elementalius to make an elementalius seed. Is this really the way we're supposed to start? Because this is stupid. Elementalius, okay, you craft one, right? Mm. To get more of it, you need fucking four just to get the seed of it. Mm. Okay, but, but then... that needs a Creparia tier 4, which needs 5 <laughs> Creparia tier 3, and each tier needs 4 Elementalius. We will never ever it. get that. There has yep. to be a different way. I don't know how though. So at this point, I have decided that I will finally build the portal to the Eden Ring. Of course, that portal needs putting amethyst crystals and to get those i needed to progress through the spectrum mod and, and make all kinds of 
Will leaf-eating blocks make a bunch of colored trees and whatnot? And I hated every step of it, of course. I also had to wait for specific moon phases and wait till midnight to make, like, very specific, uh, like, crafting recipes. I, of course, didn't wait for that, because fuck that. So I just spawned in the right time of day because <laughs> I was not having any of that. And, you know, I created the, the things I needed and finally made a budding amethyst crystal. And now all we had to do was wait like 10 hours for it to actually grow anything. Yay! Also, small little side note, I actually don't know why we were even going to the Eden Ring. I'm pretty sure we were going to go there to get Nikolite Dust to progress through a Tech Reborn, I believe. However, we got Nikolite Dust from the Extractinator, so I don't know why we were still trying to go there. I think we were just stupid, probably. This is awful. I will never, never touch this mod ever again. If I see Spectrum in a mod pack, I will delete it. <laughs> I will delete it. I do not care if we cannot progress through the mod pack without Spectrum, but I will delete it 100%. Don't care. It's just gone. Basically, at this point of the game, all we were doing was crafting the whole time. Because in, in other mod packs, we're very used to ha being able to get a storage system like Applied Energistics or Refined Storage early on and using those to automatically craft everything that we need. However, in this mod pack, the storage mods are very much gated behind modern industrialization and so we basically just couldn't do it. In hindsight, we should have automated every little piece that you need for modern industrialization, but we didn't know we were supposed to do that, so we just kind of ended up mindlessly crafting away and crafting tables and, and whatnot, which made the mod pack very, very boring. Hey, no, burn the flint and steel. No. No, you fucking... I'm so angry, I'm gonna get beamed into space. How do I... Yep, it worked. Whoa. I'm here. What the fuck, bro? Why it's so oh big? Oh my god. Whoa. Is that a turkey? Why are there so many turkeys? <laughs> no, fuck, I, I couldn't make it. We did end up finally going to the Eden Ring, and shortly thereafter going to the Twilight Forest as well. However... I, I still don't know why we even went here. I think it honestly was pointless. I did end up exploring the Twilight Forest a little bit and fighting a few bosses. But at this point, after even coming back, uh, after all the bosses and everything, all I was doing was crafting. And I think uh, we got really bored of, of just doing that for a long time. So we decided to just switch over to another mod pack. Um, it is a very anticlimactic end. It, unfortunately, that's how it is with pretty much all mod packs with us, because they end up being impossible to complete towards the end. And yeah, I mean, I hope you all enjoyed this weird little Minecraft mod pack video thing. Uh, subscribe if you did, and we'll see you in the next one, I suppose. Goodbye!